uh, hi everyone so in the last video we have created authentication service which is nothing but it's using uh, another user service which is giving us the email and password i mean based on the email and password it is validating user exists or not okay so this was our user service which has only like create method uh, create method is just uh, creating the user and get by email i mean it can have a number of helper methods like get user by email get user by uh, a username and something like that so we are primarily using this authentication service to do do a lot of things and this is the only service which will integrate with the passport okay so now what we are doing is uh, create user is fine we are uh, encrypting the password with the hash value and then storing it so similarly we have another method we have to write which is uh, get authenticated user or login user or something like this right so public So we can just add public async uh, method name is get authenticated user or let's say get auth user and we will be passing the email and password email will be of type string password will be of type string and in this code we are going to let's put it in the side of try catch because we are going to do a lot of things inside it like uh, validating the password against the database okay and uh, if things are not correct we will just say internal server error exception cool so now what we will add in this code so this is a get auth user here we will first get the user based on email so here we will use the user service const user equal to await this dot user service so from authentication service we are calling the user service and there should be a method uh, get by email i think get by email you'll pass the email if user exists by that email that means user is a user is there in the database and then another thing is we will just check is password matching with whatever is that whatever is there in the database and whatever we have with us so password vcrypt and the dot compare is a method there so we will be passing two argument first argument is hash password and another is a user password which we just got right so this is the user password which we are getting from the database and the hash password so this password is we are getting from the request body which is a plain text and this user password which is there in the database so this is the actual encrypted password let's not call it as a hashed password otherwise it will be confusing so keep it simple password yeah so if everything is fine let's say if is matching his password matching is true then it will be false that means this will not uh, be thrown and we can actually return an exception HTTP exception and it should be a bad request not internal server error Or something your custom message you can send otherwise what we will do is uh, we got the user object just make the password null or undefined and return that user okay simple one so this is a get authenticated user now what we can do is we can actually a little bit simplify this we can create another method only which will do this comparison thing of the password okay so we can actually create a separate method for this particular logic and then we can call this method just for the separation of concern it can be a private async because we are going to call this verify password method from the parent method so this thing we can get rid of it this dot verify password and this verify password is taking two argument plain text password which is the password we are getting from the request body and the hashed password which we are getting from the user object user dot password okay if everything is good then it will not throw an exception so it is complaining string undefined is not assignable to type string so this password will be there from the request object it is saying that it can be null 
what I'm saying is it will not be a null. Okay, then we are good. So get user, it is calling verify password. Okay, so this is our authentication service as a whole. Okay, here we are validating the user and uh, comparing the password and all. Now we need to integrate the authentication with the password. We have our local authentication mechanism, which is like here we are creating user, here we are kind of authenticating because the login controller will call this method get auth user. If you are returning a user, that means user is there. Okay, for our password, we will be adding some modules in our application, which is like Next.js password, password type definitions and all. So I will just add them from my template. And then we can start with this. Now we need to write a password local strategy for the application because password provide all different strategy Facebook Twitter we can actually use a social uh, authentication with the help of password but we are just using going to use a local strategy okay so inside authentication we can actually create a separate folder for all these things I can create an auth folder authentication and there I can create a local strategy dot ts passport we are passing it now strategy strategy we are getting from let's import this it's an unknown word similarly we can import user so now what we are doing is in this we are extending the passport strategy and passing the strategy here okay so we are uh, we are extending this validate method which is taking email and password and we are going to call this auth service here auth service dot get this is the method we have is get auth user let's see this what method we have created so this is a get auth user we are going to call this from here from the passport service this dot auth service dot get auth user and we are passing email and password and what this service is doing is it is returning uh, it is returning us the user object so this user object will be set inside the request payload this is what we want right once this is available in the request payload our services would be able to access the request dot user okay just import fix export default class okay so this is our passport service now what we need to do is we will import all these things into the parent module okay like we have a domain module so inside domain module we will import all the services together and we have to use the built-in guard so in the next video what we will do is we will just create a controller authentication controller where we will have a registrations and a login uh, mechanism and we will just test this end to end how this is going to work